Look, well, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. It seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and I and Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is. But we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the cave to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy.
right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. 